Hello everyone and welcome to A Slice of My Life. In this video, we will be taking a look at the MT750S, a lifestyle slash productivity wireless mouse by Rappu. First things first, I'd like to thank Rappu for sending the MT750S over for me to check out. Also, if you enjoy the content that I'm making, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe. Oh, and make sure to ring the notification bell while you're at it. I'll include links to where you can snag yourself an MT750S, just take a look in the description box. In the usual fashion, we'll be kicking things off with an unboxing. This is the packaging that the MT750S comes in. A rather straightforward box with a magnetic window style display which adds a nice touch. Taking a look at the contents of the box, you'll find a user manual, a small USB wireless dongle, a USB-A to micro cable for charging, and the MT750S mouse. Taking a closer look at the mouse now, it sports a two-tone dark metallic grey and black colorway which looks very classy and has multiple textures. The main surface has been given a slight texture to it. There are also smooth accents and the sides are rubberized, providing you a very comfortable experience. The MT750S is neither small nor overly large and as you can see, it fills my entire palm. I'll have the dimensions of the mouse on the screen for you. You have the usual left and right click buttons with a clickable scroll wheel in the middle as well as the DPI cycle and device cycle buttons. There are two additional buttons on the left of the left click button as well as a scroll roller on the side of the mouse. The buttons and scroll wheels are all very tactile and responsive. You'll be able to hear an audible click with every press of a button and a soft ratcheting sound when you actuate either of the two scroll wheels. The base of the mouse features the power switch as well as a rather generous application of glide pads and of course, the high resolution optical sensor. On the front of the MT750S is where you'll find the micro USB charging port. Moving on, I'd like to share some additional features about the MT750S. It connects up to four devices in total, three of which are via Bluetooth and one more with the 2.4G wireless dongle. It has four on-the-fly DPI settings, that is 600, 1200, 1600 and 3200. It also features a built-in rechargeable 800mAh lithium-ion battery that fully charges in three hours and boasts a battery life of up to 30 days. On top of all of that, by using the Rappu driver software, you can customize the eight buttons and wheels for other purposes such as media functions, browser functions and more. It's now time for a quick size comparison with some common everyday items. The first item is the mouse that I use as my daily driver. This is the Dell WM527. Next is a Spyderco Para 3, my favorite folding pocket knife, followed by a Victorinox Classic SD, an average size lighter, and my TieScribe Bolt Mini V2. Honestly, while the MT750S is the largest item here, it is not all that large. Next is a mini sound test. I decided to compare the sound of the MT750S buttons and wheels to the clickers that I own, which are the ACEDC Haptic Coin and the Unquiet Hands Rocker. It's not the most professional sound demo, but I believe this should give you a good idea about the sound profile of the MT750S.
Now, on to my thoughts about the mouse. I love how easy it is to switch between devices. There isn't much of a lag time between switching devices and because of the tactility of the buttons, I never once had to second guess if I had pressed the button. Speaking of buttons, the layout of the MT750S allows me to access all the buttons and scroll wheels without having to change my grip at all, which I really like. I also really like that the charging port is on the front of the mouse because that means you can use the mouse while it's charging. I've never used the mouse with an ergonomic angle or design, so I must say that this is a breath of fresh air for me. Coupled with its light weight, it provided me with a pleasant and comfortable experience even over extended periods of time. However, while the MT750S is pretty good overall, it does have some cons. Firstly, the intrinsic flaw of the ergonomic design is that the mouse is not ambidextrous. Next, for me, it's the lack of a space to stash the wireless USB dongle. Many other mice in the market have some sort of storage solution, so it's a shame that the MT750S doesn't have one. Another con is that it uses a micro USB charging port and not a USB-C port, which unfortunately makes it feel a little outdated. To add salt to the wound, that also means no fast charging. And last but not least, the customization for the side scroll roller doesn't work in Bluetooth mode, which in my opinion basically renders the feature pointless because most people, myself included, would connect to devices via Bluetooth more than with the wireless dongle. Finally, the price point. At the time of recording, the MT750S is going for 39 Singapore dollars. And at the price point, my verdict is that you're getting a huge value for money. So if you're looking for a good lifestyle slash productivity wireless mouse that won't break the bank, the MT750S by Rapu is something you could strongly consider. Once again, all of the links are in the description box. And that's it everyone, thank you so much for sticking all the way throughout and sharing in this slice of my life. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you're not yet subscribed and make sure to hit that bell. Also, I'm on Patreon, so check out my Patreon page if you'd like. I'll have that in the top corner of the video. Thanks again to Rapu for sending this over and I will catch all of you in my next slice. Bye!